Welcome back to this course on ITIL. In this module, we shall be looking into value in the form of outcome, costs, and risks under service management. Service relationships are perceived as valuable only when they have more positive effects than negative, as depicted in the figure, outcomes, and how they influence and are influenced by the other elements will now be discussed. Outcomes. Acting as a service provider, an organization produces outputs that help its consumers to achieve certain outcomes. Output, a tangible or intangible deliverable of an activity. Outcome, a result for a stakeholder enabled by one or more outputs. The outcome of the service, however, is the preservation of memories and the ability of the couple and their family and friends to easily recall those memories by looking at the album. Depending on the relationship between the provider and the consumer, it can be difficult to the provider to fully understand the outcomes that the consumer wants to achieve. In some cases, they will work together to define the desired outcomes. Costs. From the service consumer's perspective, there are two types of costs involved in service relationships. Costs removed from the consumer by the service, a part of the value proposition. This may include costs of staff, technology, and other resources which the consumer does not need to provide. Costs imposed on the consumer by the service, the cost of service consumption. The total cost of consuming a service includes the price charged by the service provider, if applicable, plus other costs such as staff training, costs of network utilization, procurement, etc. Some consumers describe this as what they have to invest to consume the service. Risks. A possible event that could cause harm or loss or make it difficult to achieve objectives can also be defined as uncertainty of outcome and can be used in the context of measuring the probability of positive outcomes as well as negative outcomes. As with costs, there are two types of risks that are of concern to service consumers. Risks removed from a consumer by the service, part of the value proposition. This may include failure of the consumer's server hardware or lack of staff availability. Risks imposed on a consumer by the service, risks of service consumption. An example of this would be a service provider ceasing to trade or experiencing a security breach. Utility and warranty is the last concept in this chapter. Utility, the functionality offered by a product or service to meet a particular need. Utility can be summarized as what the service does and can be used to determine whether a service is fit for purpose. Warranty, assurance that a product or service will meet agreed requirements. Warranty can be summarized as how the service performs and can be used to determine whether a service is fit for use. Warranty often relates to service levels aligned with the needs of service consumers. Both utility and warranty are essential for a service to facilitate its desired outcomes and therefore help create value. With this, we come to the end of this chapter. The next chapter is Four Dimensions of Service Management. Thank you for joining with us. Goodbye.